here's something that's um, a little bit unusual since I've been in Queensland I've seen these types of spiders quite a lot they're the they're called the St Andrew's Cross spider and this particular spider has lived up to its name and it's got this beautiful unusually woven tightly woven web at four points of its web in a cross he just spotted something and retrieved it um, yeah beautifully woven across um, which apparently apparently according to some of the write-ups I've read about this particular spider is supposed to in ultraviolet light in insects eyes is supposed to dazzle them to the point where they um, crash into the web so it's a, it's a it's like a beacon in the uh, natural world that we can't see that obviously in our vision but in ultraviolet apparently that shines quite bright this particular design of web so it's a um, it's an aid for this particular spider to get its prey but what caught my eye was funny enough you can just about see it moved but as a smaller spider now I'm, I'm, I don't know but I'm just wondering whether um, this is a male because there are other types of species especially the black the um, or the black widow but the black widow is not native to Australia but the red back is native and the, the large red back with the red on its back is actually the female and there's a very tiny small male that risks its life to mate with the red back and invariably after it has mated the female normally eats the male and I'm just wondering if this is the case or is this just another spider that is risking its life using the bigger spiders we have to catch prey don't know interesting but apart from all that i mean this particular spider's got some breathtakingly beautiful markings on its body and that combined with the um, beautiful cross on its web it's just very pleasing to the eye and again well, this is in the back garden of a suburban house in um, Queensland <laughs>